Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Now today, we have been graced with a load of new Halo Infinite toy leaks. I'm gonna run them down with pictures on the screen one by one, I hope you enjoy this blind bag building in the background. We're gonna go over the three mega construct sets that have been leaked, and then a couple of others as well. There's even some, there's a massive PVC statue, and I'm kinda losing my mind. So we're gonna go through them one by one. Now, a little bit ago, we were graced to this image online. This picture that was posted of just a single Spartan in brand new armor. So I was very excited about this, and it turned out to belong to the new hijacked ghost. This thing is pretty cool. At first, I heard that there was a new ghost on Twitter. I was like, oh, come on, another ghost. I know we have to do all the new vehicles in Halo Infinite, but really, another ghost? But actually, this thing is sexy. I mean, look at this. It is so sleek. It is so beautifully designed, it looks like it fits the Banshee perfectly. And it comes with this new figure as well. He's got a basic assault rifle, but then you also get two grunts in both of the different armor styles and a banished brute. And really, I mean, the, the, the mega constructs are being so generous with the figures. They've really upped their game. I was always worried with the fire teams, they were getting less and less figures, but these are amazing for army building. This is basically the mirrored equivalent of the new Mongoose, and these sets look to be released at the beginning of next year. Now this one, I mean, it's awesome. The, the grunt at the bottom kind of looks like he's been copy and pasted in. He doesn't really look like he's part of the picture, but it's still, I mean, it looks so good. The two-in-one feature with the turret and the little, dis like, little barricade thing. I want to buy two of these, which is exactly why Mega Constructs made the two-in-ones. It looks fantastic. That new Spartan, big fan. And it says in the description on Toy Wiz, hijack the enemy and make a quick getaway in their rapid assault vehicle. Modeled after its appearance in Halo Infinite, this banished ghost features dual missile launchers to up the attack or choose to build a mini banished outpost with firing turret and barricade. This construction set also includes four micro action figures that can be placed in the ghost or positioned to man the turret. Take the offensive, soldier. A uh, very cool description. And to be honest, like, I like it more than anything when Mega Constructs give some kind of play aspect or like some kind of scenario. You gotta build the world. You can't just release two sets that are not coherent with each other and all of these banished sets, they seem to fit together. And this one actually has a narrative that the Spartan hijacked the ghost. I really like it. I, I've not had a ghost I like this much since the Jewelum Dharma ghost. I certainly didn't really like the other banished ghost that we got during Halo Wars 2. This one is much better. Moving on to the main event, I'm sure the thing that people are most excited about, we've got Series 2 of Blind Bags. And to be honest, why are we seeing Series 2 of Blind Bags when Series 1 hasn't even made a common release yet? Like, I like to get hold of my sets, and I've got a lot of people searching for Halo Infinite Series 1 Blind Bags, they haven't found any. And to see there's already imagery for Series 2, that makes me worried, because sometimes Mega Constructs has the habit of releasing something too quickly and burying a previous set, Hello Halo Hero Series 5, so I'm a little worried about that, but this set looks pretty good. The Spartans are the real standout, they win the show, and the Noble Six remold looks awesome. This jacked Swolger in the front with the DMR looks insane. And, you know, the Spartans are good. It looks like the AC Spartan is probably the one at the front, or maybe... It kind of looks like a recon, I'm not sure, maybe a CQB. Even, it even has some kind of EVA vibes. But they all look great, and the new gunship, it's kind of like a Phaeton, but it's banished. I think it's just the dropship we saw in the trailer. That looks great, too. Then you move on to the Covenant, and I just think it's wasted potential. That Jackal has already pretty much come in a fire team, and then to get another Elite Ultra is okay, but to get another one of that color palette? Why have they done that? Like, the Halo Heroes Series 12 was silver-ish, and then so was the Banshee. The Banshee was kind of like white, but then to make a blackish one, why not have a different color? Like, that's very strange to me. And then the grunt is okay, you know, there's always a grunt. You gotta, you gotta pad out those blind bags. It says, 
Prepare for the infinite with eight old new Halo collectibles to build each designed after their appearance from Halo Infinite. Open the blind bag to discover a faithfully designed superposable micro action figure ready for duty or the ultra rare banished phantom micro dropship. Is it really a phantom? That's a bit weird. Collect UNSC and banished characters. Collect them all and build your own infinite factions. Pretty cool. And then the third one, uh, this image has been out for a while, but this UNSC Marine Platoon pack is insane. Five Marines, even with some kind of Intel pad, really nice backpack, that new Spartan Mark 7. They've got two old mold battle rifles and an old mold Sputnik rocket launcher, so that's a little strange, but it even comes with a turret as well. That UNSC Marine Platoon pack is insane. A UNSC Infantry Platoon is known for its cunning advanced tactics on the battlefield. A finely tuned team, enemies are in the fight for their life when you assemble this elite task force. This construction set includes six superposable, authentically detailed micro-action figures and also features some bonus heavy weaponry, a buildable turret that's sure to level the playing field. Ideal for pro builders, ooh. I mean, three sets that are quite insane. They're all just army building. They're all smaller sets. And I guess this is just wave two. This is like spring of 2021. It's so being in 2020, it seems weird talking about 2021, to be honest. But we've got these three sets. The Halo Infinite blind bags, I'm pretty excited about, but the, uh, the Covenant are a little uninspiring for me. The platoon pack is outrageously cool. And the Ghost is probably the nicest looking ghost I've seen in a while, and then some great figures as well. Perfect for army building. And then we've got some others to wrap up today. We've got the Jazzware Halo Infinite Brute Chieftain vs. Master Chief. Whoa! This thing... this thing is a beefy boy. He looks awesome, and I guess Hydra Launcher is confirmed in Halo Infinite now. The new World of Halo scale. I mean, ugh, look at him, he's a beefcake. And then the last thing, I'm sure you've all seen it, this Halo Infinite PVC Master Chief statue and Steelbook case. The Steelbook case is just black, we can't make anything out right now, but the Master Chief looks insane, so cool. I mean, it is he looks like a bookend, kind of like the Halo 5 Guardians ones, but I'm all about it. He's got some awesome battle damage and I can't wait to buy literally all of these things. Well, I want to thank you all for tuning in today. This was another video with the domain. Did you know that 68% of people that watch this video aren't even subscribed to this channel? I would really appreciate it if you enjoyed this video. Give me a like and a subscribe, turn on that bell. Signing off with this awesome gold aerosol.